Amén y Amén. Gracias, hermano. So tonight, um, la conferencia that we're going to be talking about is um, sexting, fun or harm. Okay? Um, and I know that a lot of you have cell phones. You guys have computers at home. Some of you have smartphones that are even, even more advanced than um, the regular cell phones, right? Um, and those devices, they can do a lot more than what people think they can do. Me personally, I'm simple. I do have a My Touch I, that advanced phone. I do. Only because my other one broke. But I can tell you that I can only do certain things with my phone. Me personally, and I got a master's degree, but I'm not into that mess. But whenever I have to do something with my phone, hey, Ingrid, tú me puedes hacer esto in two seconds. It takes her two seconds to do, to go through my phone and do whatever it is. I mean, I gave it to David. David just looks at it and boop, he's done. Um, so. You guys are a little bit more um, advanced, I would say, in terms of technology. You guys are living what we call the generation of gadgets, okay, stuff. Today my phone is actually an old phone, is that true? I bought it in November, but now my phone is not the new thing anymore, because now the My Touch does have a little sliding thing, and you can go do that thing, right? Me, I don't even know how to do the swipe. Yeah, I know how to do swipes, right? But anyway, talking about you know phones and technology and all of that, um, one of the things we wanted to start talking to you guys about is sexting. Um, and I did uh, some, the PowerPoint that I have, I gave it to you guys in copies. Um, so that if any point I um, jump, you can you know, read on your own. Um, I'm going to try not to, but I just want, I, I took important things that as a nurse I learned when I was in school, um, because before being a teacher I am a nurse, and then after some of the things that I've learned, because I am a teacher and I see stuff in school a lot. Praise God. So the first thing that I wanted to do is uh, define sexting. And sexting is not a word that is in the dictionary, the regular dictionary. That is not a word that's in there. But if you go to Urban Dictionary, right, the Urban Dictionary.com, you will find all the little slang words that you guys say. Para los papá que no entienden en inglés, Ahí, este es, la palabra sexting no es una palabra que aparece en el diccionario de que nosotros usamos todos los días. Pero en el internet hay un diccionario que se llama el diccionario urbano, que tiene todas las palabras que los muchachos usan todo el tiempo. Que no son palabras de verdad, sino palabras que ellas se inventaron. Y como se inventaron y las están usando, todas las ponen debajo de una categoría, ¿verdad? So, um, sexting is the slang term for the use of cell phone or other similar electronic devices to distribute picture or video of sexually explicit images. Okay, sexually explicit, meaning maybe you're not nude. Okay, maybe you just got a bra, maybe you just got your panties on but it's explicit. Sometimes you are nude and you put yourself in a position where you can't see certain organs of your body and that is what we call explicit, okay? So it also can refer to texting messages of a sexually charged nature. So maybe you're not sending pictures, but you are sending words that make people think about a sexual thing, maybe a sexual uh, position or a sexual, um, I would say, image or a sexual um, act, right? Um, 
So the act, the, I put another one, the act of text messaging someone in hopes of having a sexual encounter with them later, because you don't send this to people that, well, some people do, I'm not gonna say no. But usually you don't send those types of texts to people that you really don't know, right? You send it to people that you know, and then maybe later on in a, you know, a couple of days, you're gonna be in contact with that person. Um, initially, some, it, it starts casual. Ah, estamos relajando, you know. Vamos relajar y tiro esto y digo una palabrita y this and that. But um, transitioning, it, it transitions into highly suggestive and even sexually explicit. So you start off playing around and then you keep on with the conversation and the conversation turns into something different. And then that's how we get people caught. I don't know if you've seen the news, but here in Kissimmee, about two or three weeks ago, there was a sting by the cops. And it was a nice house, beautiful house. And the cops were there. And what happened, they were, they were texting. And the people thought that it was little girls, the guys. They thought it was little girls. And when they got to the house, boom, they got put in jail. Okay, because that's what happens. You set, you take, you take, you put your number out there. And let me tell you, I don't know if you guys know that or not, but once you put your your ID number, or whatever, you're that's it. You're, you're pretty much anybody can find you. Um, I got. We have a guy in our school. His name is uh, Mr. Goss, and he's a little techie. He actually gave us a conference on how you know you need to be changing your passwords at least, at least every 90 days at least every 90 days, because if you don't change your password in 90 days, the incidence of people being able to go into your stuff, it, it goes higher like by a lot. Um, so moving on with the texting, why the explosion? I mean, one of the things is uh, adolescent development. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about adolescent development. You guys that are 23, 24, even when it gets, it, it's adolescent, ends at a certain age, but for some folks, depending on their maturity, it can, it can even go to 26. So this is why um, we were including everybody. Um, accessibility. We can, we, how many of you, raise your hand if you have a cell phone. There you go. That's a lot of you. That's, I'm gonna say maybe 90% of you guys have a cell phone, so it's accessible. It used to be a long time ago. Let me tell you, when I, start, when I started nursing, well, let me say the same, let me say that, not that long ago, there we go. Um, when I started nursing, the cell phone that I had was a little bit smaller than this. I had to carry that, and I had a beeper that was this big. So I had a beeper, and I used to work for three companies, so I had a beeper, beeper, and cell phone. My whole falta was sometimes going down. Um, but it's, it's accessible. I mean, now they even give you plans, okay, free. You don't have to pay nothing if you stay with us two years. That's accessibility, right? And affordability. If you go to Metro, you know one of my students went, told me the other day, hey, you see this phone? 30 bucks. I say, I bet you it's Metro. He said, yep, okay, that's why it's that much. But anyway, it's, it's cheaper, okay? There's a lot of stuff that is cheaper now. Um, and why are, why are, are you, you can move it as, as I'm talking. Um, why are teenagers susceptible? And I really wanted to talk to you guys about this because you're at this age. And the parents, sometimes you don't know this either because I didn't know that until I started, you know, studying. Um, there are certain things that are more attractive to you guys. And it, it starts at a, at a certain age. Um, but there is a cognitive development, how you learn, how you pay attention to things, okay? And we call that cognitive development. Your thinking becomes more self-conscious, idealistic, and critical. You now you guys are in school and you say, you're so ugly. You're really not ugly. You just 
She just want to say something mean. You know, you're critical to whoever is around you. Um, you're more conscious. You turn like 11, 10, 11, and you don't dress the way you used to dress. No, now I got to look a certain way. I got to put on some certain clothes. You know, why, why do I have to wear Walmart sneakers when everybody else is wearing Nikes or Jordans or whatever? What is that, that new one? What's the new one? No, no, there's, there's a pair of sneakers that everybody was saying on, on, on the vans, and no, but había uno nuevo. Anyway, <laughs> they already know them. But there gets a, a, a stage in your life where you are conscious of yourself and you want to look okay to the people that's around you because you don't want to look, you know, cheesy or cheat ¿verdad? and you want it you want to look um, so you're conscious you're idealistic and you're critical um, at that age you are able to reason you're not like the little kids anymore you know oh, I think this is happening because of this you generalize and you form hypotheses well if this happens then I can I, this other thing can happen and I am I'm a science teacher so I teach that a lot hypotheses it's a guess of what's going to happen in the future, right? So if I text this picture and this person gets it, well, that person's going to keep it to itself. Yeah, that's the hypothesis. And once it's on there, you lost it because it belongs to the web. Really, that's what happens. Um, Events can be viewed from many perspectives. By 14, how many of you are 14? 14. Okay, by 14, decision-making process is same as the adults. So at 14, your way of how you make decisions can be the same as the adults, but you don't have the same maturity, right? But if you are mature enough at 14, you can make those decisions, okay? And why 10? Do they, do they make so, oh, why then? I'm sorry, that's a typo. Why then do they make so many bad decisions, okay? If you are think a thinker like an adult, why then do we make all those mistakes? So I'm gonna keep on telling you. Um, cognitive development in teens, you guys don't consider all the consequences of words or acts. And that is, is a proven fact. You say you stupid, you tell somebody. I'm just using that word, right? But say, ah, you so stupid. Without pe thinking maybe that person didn't need for you to tell them you're stupid tonight. Because that's the night that he was thinking, I'm just going to go and kill myself. You see what I'm saying? So you don't think about consequences um, you have a limited life experience you haven't lived that long you haven't seen you haven't done a couple you know a lot of things so it's all there and it's like I, I want to I want to do it I want to touch it I want to see it you know it, it's it's there and I and I want it right um, and this is really important the brain is under construction until the 20 somethings. Okay? Now, I'm not sure if you've ever heard this, but our brain is divided in certain sections, right? And we have what we call the frontal brain. Okay? The frontal lobe. It's right here. And the frontal lobe is that part of your brain, okay, that matures, that makes you be able to do things. Now, when you start smoking, drinking, taking drugs, and doing all of those things that are not healthy for, your, for yourself, your brain will stay at that age. There's a lot of studies on that. So, Robin, if you decided that today, Dios no lo quiere, Dios te cuide y jamás en la vida, but today you decided that you were going to go ahead and start drugs, okay? the maturity that you have now 